With video two, you versus them, we look at your person in video two and we look at the demeanor and also the possible outcomes of the situation. Video one is now posted in the video bar. You can go enjoy it there or get your little side notes from that video. I drew from the energy oracle your person's energy Libra because I wanted to see the overall tone. If both of you are coming from the six of cups, what would be the tone or what's the background noise? And I have all tied up here for your person. So I'm gonna read all tied up so you could hear it from the book, that's 23. They have that today, all tied up. It says lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. Upright, which your person had. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it up so that you can gain the overall feeling from the card. It shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists, body, and arms. Also, if there is a masculine energy here and you are watching this video for a man you're dealing with, take it as it resonates, Libra. Receiving this card upright represents action needing taken in your life where things seem to be severely stuck or stagnant. A major drama may be going on, stopping you from moving forward, or it may be that some technicalities are blocking the way. Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made on the whole. Whatever it is holding things up, the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. The vines around her are making some serious changes now as they will possibly unravel. You needn't live your life and impose jail any longer. So your person has this, 23. They could either, they could be 23 years old. Um, or this could be signifying the year that either the breakup happened or the separation, 2023, or your relationship culminated in 2023 with each other. Maybe the stopping of talking or the separation happened here then, Libra. So I'm getting here that they could be tied up with work. Um, I don't necessarily feel like there's someone else involved in the situation. There could be people that have come into the situation as well. But we'll see here, we'll see what else is influencing the situation, okay? They also have intuition when I drew from the cosmic insights. They're using their own discernment in the situation to deal with emotions over you. I feel like this person is an intuitive. Uh, they could be an intuitive sign. I'm getting some earth signs and fire, uh, but heavy on the water today for your person. So they could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or they could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, those tend to link up more with a Libra. So we have intuition here for them. And they're using it, you know, depending on how they last spoke to you or saw you, it says the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So they're they're weighing this situation, especially with how things, I feel like with how things last ended with you. Okay, so watch video one. It has a lot of tidbits and uh, little bite-sized information for you as well. And I just felt called to do a you versus them today. I didn't know what video I was gonna drop, but it was time for a you versus them. It's been a while. So let's get started with your person, Libra. Let's look at the current situation. Where are they sitting at at this current time? They have all tied up and intuition. So let's see here. Libra's person, please, honest and concise messages. Part two, Libra's person. Bottom of the deck is what I hear. Five of Pentacles. So they have that too. I shuffled this many, many times. They have Five of Pentacles feelings over this romance or a loss here or a lack of maybe even talking to you. This could be non-communication. Whenever I see Five of Pentacles and we're clarifying another person, sometimes I feel like the throat chakra has been cut out of the equation with the Five of Pentacles. It's it's not being able to voice your opinion. So I, I kind of feel like that. And if you look into this card, they're both out in the cold. I mean, they're both struggling in those harsh, inclement weather uh, conditions. So I see that. I feel like your person does have their throat chakra blocked in some sense, Libra. Maybe you blocked them. Uh, maybe they have blocked you since. So there's something here that's in common that both of you are rearing to do to the other person. They also have intuition. So I feel like with that oracle, that's all they have to use at this current time to come forward is use their discernment from what they know the relationship was. Also, past red flags between the two of you. Maybe there weren't a lot. Um, maybe they viewed you in high regard here. So I just kind of want to check the energy for the both of you. What's going on with the Five of Pentacles feeling? 
thank you spirit the world so it's either a closing out for this person new beginnings or studying that of which i feel like both of you are very tired of our deliberation on whether who's going to make the first move here um, I feel like half of you are dealing with a non-contact or I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very energetically stubborn. So the world card here. Let's see what else um, is going on with this closeout of chapters. I feel like they're sad about it. Five of Pentacles can indicate sadness, depression. Uh, maybe here some of them are using coping mechanisms. I don't want to say drugs right away, but I do want to refer to alcohol because I do see a bottle in my visions here. So maybe they're taking a sip sippy here of something something on the weekends to kind of cure themselves um yeah i hear the word cure remedy is another one show me the world show me the world for libra's person thank you this came in soft the empress so they are sad obviously then general energies with the six of cups in the previous video they're sad over the loss of their empress okay Libra, I do think this be, this is your card, okay? Let's get that straight, first of all. Number two, uh, she's coming in as something joyous. You know, when you see this woman in the dress, you can't help but have soft feelings. And remember, I said this as the card drew out. I said, I'm getting a soft feeling, a cozy feeling, a comfortable feeling with this person. Conversations come to mind. I'm getting sparks of very happy memories between you and this person. Again, I feel like a marriage was here of some kind. And the Empress here is like smiling ear to ear. So I think that they miss the joy and the natural pleasantries of just hugging you, getting to feel how you feel, um, hearing your humor, your jokes. There's something here about really funny times, maybe even like nicknames too. I'm hearing like a fuzzy nickname in the background. What else do they see in Libra at this current time? What are the issues? What are the current issues? Thank you, Spirit. Two don't want to go back in. The Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. You can't make it up. You cannot make up any of this energy, especially if I'm talking to someone in no contact. So here's the deal, Libra. A lot of these are very kingly, empressy cards. They're higher court cards. So the Queen of Cups... You're being viewed right now as the Queen of Cups in the current situation. Maybe they see that you're intuitive. Maybe they see that you practice this. Or possibly what I'm getting here is they didn't give you credit for having intuitive feelings. Maybe in the past you were right on about a situation where you caught them. Or there was a time here where they got away with way more than they should have. And they're now recognizing that you are uh, very emotional and you're a creature of the world. So you feel all these feelings. They recognize the intuitive side and maybe even saying that these parts of you were correct and right. Okay. Deep, deep reading here today. I knew it. I was like, I'm being called to do a you versus them today. So let's talk about the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is about holding on to a person. We recognize this in video one they are now also in the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles i just realized as i looked down sequence of feelings this person's dealing with it in the best manner if they're not curing with alcohol i do feel here like some level of addictions is involved for some of you let's keep going i'm sorry and i i had to think about what i was going to say here so just in case nobody gets offended Let's see what else they're feeling in the current clarifiers for the Four of Pentacles now. Clarifiers for the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's still energy here, although it's, albeit it's very small. There's energy, also this is like a phallic energy as some tarot readers say. This is about, sometimes it's like, like sexual advance, right? Or sometimes they just want to offer the, yeah. So the Ace of Wands here is about it's a creative approach. It's how do I talk to Libra in a different way? Because I know there's intuition now on their side. I've gained proof. I've gained resonance. I've gained enlightenment on what I've seen with Libra. Uh, also, I know that they're in touch with themselves. So how do I do this in a new way? I'm heavily getting that. I don't know why. Please give me a like today if this is your situation. Because I, I feel like this card is being shown to me for a reason. And it's not the Ace of Cups on their side you had the ace of cups so they're trying to find out a creative way to bring 
uh, a possible speaking engagement with you, maybe to speak with you about how to be friendlier or maybe how to resume a reunion here. It's something that specific that I'm getting. Okay, so creative, Ace of Wands. It's a creative new beginning and they have to be creative with you now because they can't do it the old way that they used to, Libra. Give me the possible outcome between these two jagaloons, <laughs> between Libra and their person. Show me all signs of fire, water that Libra's dealing with and air. You could be dealing with another Libra too in this situation since the Empress card is on the table or any other air signs. Also heavy on the cups today, Libra. There's a lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, it's about... Okay, so the outcome is Nine of Pentacles. This is a very independent card. It's also about speaking of somebody very single. Both of you know that you have to have this time of separation to go do your inner work, however long that takes. Some of you are probably rolling your eyes and saying, I already did the work. So this video isn't for you per se. I kind of feel like this person also wants to have a mean whilst of their in independence. They do want to grow alone. They do want to see I do get grass is greener effects here. I'm so sorry that I have to say that. I'm sorry if it's triggering. That might not last in this grass is greener if that's where they're looking at it from. I feel like they might get disappointed based off of how maybe you have treated them, the level of loyalty, the level of unconditionality too that was presented during your relationship. Give me more here on future outcomes. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Excuse me, I'm getting aggressive now. <laughs> Why the Nine of Pentacles for Libra? Why is this here? Ace of Swords, for more clarity, the Star, the Tower, and the Six of Swords, it would be about more healing. It would be about getting more in touch with themselves. I know this can be annoying at times, Libra, to hear that someone needs more time to heal, but everybody's journey is different everybody's journey has a different time lapse to it um different memories also included in the healing if you drop if you get what i'm saying by the drop there there's going to be a moment where both of you reconnect i feel like that's why the tower's here there's going to be a moment of truth it's also shown with the ace of swords so whether this is a couple months from now a couple weeks from now uh there's something here that might need to be heard and that's where I want to get with this video is why the Nine of Pentacles is even here. Why are we seeing that someone still wants to be single? And mind you, Libra, this could even be you, the Nine of Pentacles, because it's an outcome. We see the star. There's energy for healing on both ends. As you know, this is coming in and the you versus them today is hope and healing. It's also navigational for the individual. I feel like both of you had to go away to receive information from not only the divine or whoever your person looks to spiritually, but there also has to be a journey here felt alone. And that's what I'm feeling through today's story. Both of you had to be in your individual spaces to see if the grass is truly greener on the other side. Also at the very end here, we have the chariot and the top is the seven of swords. So you could be dealing with air signs or a cancer there's forward movement wanted, but I feel like it's going to be done in a way that slights the other or is very sneaky. Do you understand what I'm saying, Libra? It's not going to be done honestly because someone is attempting here to gain clarity and gain information maybe the wrong way out of impulse. Again, we see higher efforts to heal a situation, but then when it comes down to emotions, somebody here wants to be sneaky. So the Seven of Swords appears as it is always, you know, he leaves two swords behind to kind of tell on himself a little bit there. That's how I take the card, at least. Also, you could be seeing seven. So I just want to mention that because your last cards are 17, seven. I'll show you that I have it. 17, seven, and seven. So you could be seeing a lot of sevens lately. Oop, there you go. Um, again, 17 with the star card. There's something about a power that you hold over this person, Libra. It's... I could feel it even when I touch the star card and then I look at the chariot. It's like, I'm gonna go over here and bother the star for a little bit, try to get a rise out of them, a reaction. It's that seven of swords. So I feel like you also have to be careful with your footing here. And you also have to deal with a person that you knew well from the past. 
okay? Uh, my highest advice here is beware of the tower and what that could bring, what emotions that could generate. And also, um, I feel like the highest card would be that Ace of Swords, which is your energy gaining clarity over time. Each of your healing efforts are going to have different snapshots to it. Allow for those moments to fill itself and fill your new cup, whatever that is, since you had the Ace of Cups in your last reading. Thank you all for joining me. This reading is about to post. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope this helped you. And this was your You versus Them for the week. I'll see you in the next readings.